I don't want to spread myself too thin, but I'm afraid I'm stacking, I'm, I'm kind of spreading myself too thick here. Because I'm not really specializing in anything. I know Flak Cannon and Chain Laser could theoretically pull me through the flagship fight, but... Let's see, they insist they must destroy your ship to prevent the virus from escaping. Your Lonius crew member gestures frantically. Reprogram the virus. Sure. I think I chose the wrong option there. I've never saw that event before, so if anybody can tell me what you're supposed to choose... Or maybe I didn't. Drone reactor? That's useless for me. I have no idea what the... What the rewards for that are, but I thought I saw on a video somewhere that you can get like a crew member that's like best in everything. I'd love to know how to get that, but I don't, I think I chose the wrong option there. Yeah, I can get to the quest. I guess we are doing this quest just to show you guys how to get the stealth cruiser or stealth whatever. Some more friends have taken to piracy. Don't kill them. All right. Hack me. Well, hack you. I guess I can hack you. Not yet. You hacked our sensors. You savages. I can think of, that is a nasty missile launcher they have there. I don't know what that is, but that's big. I think I don't want to get hit by that, because I think that's a breaching missile. What would be the best place to send this? I guess the shield room would be, wouldn't it? Doesn't really matter, I guess, but I should have fired that sooner. Oh well. Crap. Really don't want to do this. Won't need dodge chance if they don't have to. Dodge anything. And this is going to hurt rather badly. Let them live and return to the settlement. That I am a man of my word, and I got another eye on Stunner. Well, that's great, I guess. I mean, I didn't really need another one, but that's great. Kind of waiting for my drones here to my hacking to... I don't know if you have to wait or not. I'd rather be safe about it, though. This is going pretty well. I'm actually quite pleased that after the rough start. Trying to get... Why is everybody running away from me? I mean, I know I'm scary and all, but come on. I don't really have to use a hacking module here. Why do I keep calling hacking modules? What game was that from? Hacking modules. That wasn't from Deus Ex, was it? I don't think it was. Oh my. Nope. No, thank you. Aha. This isn't worth dying for. Yes. This is going pretty well. Hopefully you get this quest done, and I need more fuel, though. Rather soon. Okay. That, I don't think they can hurt me, but if they can, I can just cloak out. I don't need to use a hacking part here. Or a drone part. I keep calling them the wrong things. Yeah, I, as soon as we take out their shields, this is pretty much done and over with, I think. I think... Hmm, trying to figure out which where would be a good place to put this. On one of these or the middle? I think that would probably be better. I say that because of the... Uh, actual systems there. Oh, that's gonna hurt you for being in the middle of this crap storm here. Granted, I could have probably hit the engines and been just as effective, but that's just not as fun. I would accept that just because of the fuel, because I don't like buying fuel. 
Do I want to go to the store? Uh, I guess I... It's either go to the store or gamble on this thing here. Well... I think we'll just skip the store and try and get a little more scrap and maybe find a store next sector. And that's 22 plus however much the anti-combat drone sells for because I ain't keeping that thing. I've never used an anti-combat drone before. Yeah, sure, investigate. Let's try to communicate peacefully. Ah, crap, well. I know that sometimes gives you a crew member. Seemingly, usually an NG crew member. Oh crap, the slug homeworld. Why is every single video I do in this, in the slug homeworld? Okay, just please don't be any ion storms, or plasma storms, or whatever they are. Uh, sure, hail them. I would love that trade, actually, because I have plenty of drone parts. Slug ship a rogue, you suspect. Oh. Alright. If you think you can take me. Looking at their weapons, I don't think they can. It'll be a tough fight, no doubt, but I don't think they can I don't think they can kill me. Oh, I thought I went got there just in time. Okay, you go repair the backup battery, and yes, I know I haven't been using it because I haven't really needed to yet. No, I haven't forgot about it, don't worry. Aha, took out their big thing, but not much else. I thank goodness, okay. Fire this on the shields and we'll fire this on engines. For that precise reason. You have bested us, will you accept what's in our store? Yeah, sure. Take the- we don't want the- I don't want an anti-bio beam, we want information. I give you the coordinates of the prototype cruiser's mobile construction platform. I've never done this quest. I want to go do that quest. I'm going to go do that. Because, hopefully, this means I don't have to beat the game with the Gila Monster and I can just get the Slug Cruiser this way. Because I suck with the Gila Monster. Somebody always dies in a boarding party. I think you came to the wrong neighborhood, just so you know. Oh, sorry about that. Had to cough. Yeah, I don't think that it's gonna work out all that well for them, because they're suffocating, and they're not used to that. Nobody's really used to suffocating. Hopefully nobody out there is. Okay, that is a halberd beam. I didn't think that would go through shields. It apparently does. But, no... No problem. Take out the weapons. Thankfully the halberd beam is a part of that. I should have cloaked, but I didn't know that thing was gonna go through shields. I'll cloak through that, because that's the part that's dangerous for me. Give our flak cannon and flak cannon, flak cannon another chance to charge up here, and we shall use this on the engines. Now they gotta try and prioritize which one of the three do we want: the engine, the dodge chance. The weapons or the oxygen. I think they'll probably choose the oxygen. That's just me. That's probably what I would choose first. Actually, I don't want to send that yet. Now I want to send that. And we'll send this one on the piloting system. Probably should have put it on the shields, but I they can't get anywhere now if they wanted to. Gotta wait for the flat cannon, sadly. Not exactly the best weapon makeup, because these don't really complement each other, do they? Let's see, not good enough. Alright, well, still doing pretty good here. Could use 
another level of that. As you see, we're fast approaching my reactor capacity, so that's a good thing that I got the backup battery. I don't need to upgrade the backup battery yet, however. Could use another thing in weapons, but I don't think a small bomb's gonna be really worth it right now. I would really like another thing of engines. Of course, I just realized I didn't really need to put another thing in power right now, but maybe I can put it in hacking next time, whenever I get 40 more scrap, or 38, 31 more scrap, I'm sorry. Anyway, on to the slug quest. The slugs here use a tactic you hope you'd never see. They use a remote hacking satellite to sabotage your oxygen production system and then charge fire weapons. You're going to suffocate. Try to squeeze some extra power to the system. Thankfully, your improved subsystem is able to counter their hacking enough to keep the life support barely functional. I think it's better to choose the oxygen path than the hacking path because you can still hack if you don't use that. Do I need to hack? That's a pike beam, a bomb, and a laser. The only thing they can get through my shields is the bomb. So I don't really think I have to. I can just cloak when the bomb comes up. I'm pretty sure. Don't need to cloak for that. Unless that's a... That's not a... Oh, what is that laser or beam that just tears the shit out of things? That does like 3-4 damage. I don't remember, but it's not big enough to be that. This is gonna be bad for you. I was a little late on that, whoops. You know, you guys wanna try and suffocate people. I should take out your oxygen. Yeah, I should take out your oxygen just so you can see what that's like. But I'm not a cruel person. Except I am. That was stupid of me, but thankfully they missed because we have a 42% evade chance. Okay, and now we'll just use this on weapons. There we go, now they have, they're have they floating dead in the water. Or in this case, floating dead in the vacuum of space. If you want to be technically correct. And we'll use this on piling just so they, well, didn't, didn't have to. The drone recovery arm. Does that count for hacking? I suppose it would. Oh, well, that might actually be rather nice. What do I have? I have a drone reactor. I should have sold that. I have a drone reactor booster I should sell. But first, we're going to try and do this. Uh, let's see. A black market's weapon chair spins you a tail. I remember this crap. I am not, I'm not purchasing no damn random weapon because you'll probably just take the money and try and kill me. So, you know what? I'm getting the drop on you. I should have put that extra thing in hacking or... Uh, or cloaking, I didn't think about it, but I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. I'm not sure if I can beat the chain- I'm not sure if I can beat the flagship with this weapon set up, but you never know until you try, right? I think that's probably better for that. I can't imagine that's going to get all through there, but I was wrong, that actually did. Do I really need to dodge that? No. My dodge chance is enough that I can pretty much just coast through that. I think the highest my do my evade chance has ever been is like 54 or something like that when I maxed out my engines one time. Of course, I didn't even have cloak, I didn't have a defense drone, and I still beat the flagship. Just by pure dodging alone. I might want to use the cloak now, though. Let's see, we'll put this on... Weapons. That was a little late. That's a lot of scrap and something I could sell for more scrap. I'm going to accept that. Oh, crap. Well, hopefully I can get to the exit from this. You arrived to discover an impressive cruiser being worked on by a few smaller ships and guarded by an assault ship. The mobile construction platform is slowly slipping into the clouds. You have not yet been noticed. Let's see. 
Oh, God. I don't know what to do here. I really wish I did. I don't think I chose the right option there. Just call me crazy. Again, this is where being a noob really hurts. Because now I have to fight something that I don't think I ever had to actually fight. But I'm, I do now. I hope I didn't just mess up my... Hope, I hope I didn't just mess up that quest. Only, only you know, probably. Take out that weapon system. I don't want those weapons up. At least I got rid of the ion and the laser, it looks like. And let's just use a drone part on there. Shields, because I haven't used one in quite some time. And now, this is going to really not be your day. That's not going to recover anytime soon, and now your shields are going to die now. Dull. Yeah. Shield man went up. Alright. No, I don't want to use that yet. What am I doing? That would be stupid. Then take out their engine so they keep so they don't keep missing. Oh, I shouldn't do that yet. That's just greed right there. I'm good. Don't have to cloak yet, alright. And now you're going to die, Mr. Bond. If Mr. Bond was a slug. With the assault ship taken care of, you turn your attention to the construction, however you find that has long since disappeared. Son of a bitch. Well, might as well do the other quest thing. I guess. You finally cut up with the ships you've been hunting. A hangar-sized cargo ship is being escorted by a number of Mantis ships. As you reconsider the assault, a squadron of NG ships with pirate emblems jump in and assist you. You prepare to fight the Mantis, but scans indicate they're manned by rebels. Okay. At least now, next time I know, try and cover, try and follow them without being seen. I know what to do next time. That's gonna work out really bad for you. I mean, just, no, don't do that. Are you seriously just gonna sit in there? I mean, you can do that, but... I just realized he has not been at his post for quite some time. Oh well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Because we haven't needed him to be in the doors. And now this is just going to be nasty. That's all this is gonna be. You really might wanna go back to your ship, or I guess you don't. I guess you just... I don't know what to put that in. I need another thing of power. Or I need another thing to put power in. They just have, they have a clone. I was like, what is that noise? I guess that's why they didn't bring you back. Wouldn't be able to bring you back now. The NG emerged victorious from their battles with only minor losses. Commission... Oh, great. So, that's how you get the stealth cruiser. And titanium system casing. I have way too much scrap. I guess I could go for that achievement of hoarding 600 scrap, but that just seems kind of stupid now, doesn't it? I'm so ticked at myself for picking the wrong option with the slug cruiser thing, because I've never saw that event before and I probably never will again. But now I know what you gotta do. You gotta accept their offer of surrender when they surrender. Let's see, I don't need that intruder. I don't need that. Do you have any weapons? You do not. You have somewhere between jack crap here. Well, I guess I could use a couple of fuel and then I can just go wild on upgrading here. And then put that in there. Could use another. I really need another system game. I mean, I guess I could go for another thing of shields, but I don't really want to do that. 
I mean, with my fo my 45% evade chance and four things of shields, I might be able to get through the flagship, but I'm more concerned about my offensive capabilities than my defensive capabilities at this point. Flack will tear through the flagship's shields, but chain laser and I chain laser for damage only? That's not not good. I really need another weapon. So I'm going to hold on to my money, try and find another store next sector. Which sector am I in? I'm in sector six. Try and find another store next sector and buy something a little better than Ion Stunner, hopefully. Or I could just see what's in this one. That works just about as well. You have a pike beam, a halberd beam. A pike beam would be freaking A. I mean, it would, because Flat Cannon takes their shields out. Pike Beam would just rake across the entire ship. Halberd Beam, great, but too much power. I think I'll buy the Pike Beam. I don't know if that's a wise investment, but I'm going to hope that it is. And take off the Ion Stunner. Take off the Small Bomb. Oh, right. Well... Guess I can take off that. There we go. Now I'm a little more happy about where we are offensively. I really should, probably should have bought more fuel, but eight might be able to get me through the next sector. We're going rebel control because I don't like nebulas. And besides, I think that event's only available in the slug nebula, the slug homeworld nebula, not the, not just any nebula willy nilly. Sadly. Okay, let's see. We need to get there. That's a bit of a direct way. Can I get over? Yeah, I can go this way. Okay. I want to make somewhat of a direct run, but not a direct. Well, crap. This is annoying. I, Lord knows we don't need that much cloaking against that. Oh, crap. Get in there and distract him. We can't afford to lose our shields. Worst comes to worst, I'll use backup battery to turn on my clone bay. And get back in there. Hopefully that mind control will wear off sometime soon. It doesn't seem to be, however. And then just rake this crap across their stern, or whatever that is. And now we're cooking with gas. Again. I know, it's, an ex it's a fossil fuel. Probably shouldn't be cooking with gas that often, but... Damn if it doesn't taste better when you cook with gas. Oh, well, at least Charlie's in his right mind now. Fire this on this bad boy on the shields, and this is over. I love Pike Beam with a flat cannon. It's not even right how good it is. Granted, I would rather have the Glaive Beam. That's what it is, Glaive. I was like, what is that kick-ass beam weapon? It's Glaive Beam. I've had Flak 2 and Glaive Beam working, and I think I two-shot the, or maybe it was three-shot? I don't remember. It was a very quick uh, flagship fight. Let's see. I think we're pretty much good with weapons. I could use more oxygen. And I really could use more piloting. Because if something happens, it's always better to have an 80% evasion chance. If, say, our piloting goes out, having 80% of your evasion could save your life in the battle with the flagship during the second and third phases. So I think I will upgrade that now. A lot of people probably say you don't need it. You don't really need it. It's just one of those insurance things. That's the way I look at it. I like having an extra bar of oxygen, preferably full oxygen too, just because those breaches can, those breaching drones can get quite annoying. This might be a very bad decision on your part, just so you know. Turn the oxygen off. You seriously want to fight in here? I don't think you do, because now... Well, hell. Doesn't really matter. I think they'll win. Oh, now this is just ripe for the pickings here. A 
It's like not even right just how how badly they're screwed here. Yeah, not a good enough surrender. There's no fuel in that. Otherwise, I might actually sur accept that. I know I don't have to put power in the hacking if I'm not actually going to use it. It's a bad habit of mine to leave it in there. And they're dead. Black cannon plus pike beam is just not even right, in just in terms of how effective it is. I might want to get out of here. I do have a second before my shields come up, but... I can't afford to give you that. I'm sorry. Not right now. There we go. I don't like nebulas, but it's a good idea to go in them, just because it slows the rebel fleet. So I always try and make an effort to go in nebulas if I can. Oh, this could get messy, but I can get out of it if it does. I think. I'm pretty sure I can get out of it. All I gotta do is have flat cannon hit and chain laser, and then this is pretty much over. Now's the time to cloak, because we had no shields with two things above us. Two drones. You stupid drone. Okay, we want to take out... There we go. Can I... I don't think I can get all, four, all five. Oh, crap. I should have focused on one of the two, not all three. Or not both of them, rather. Hopefully they don't get away because of my incompetence. No, you're not gonna get away. That's what I thought. Oh, that was carelessness on my end. Hmm. What would be the best idea? Having 4th level doors is great and all, but I'm not really sure I need 4th level doors. I mean, it's great to keep the, the intruders from the 3rd phase where they need to stay, but... Dodging really would help. Having the excess... I could get one of those and one of those. And then if I need to, I could use my backup battery and then micro a little bit. I don't mind microing. I like microing. I just sometimes I forget. Oh, shit. Have your pilot carefully explore the debris. Among the junk and scrap, you find a salvageable drone schematic. You decide to quit while you're ahead and prepare to jump with your recent find. That's another reason I love having... I need oxygen. That's another reason I love having... Autopilot max level, because then if you get in a really crappy event like that, you don't have to either risk... i definitely make that trade. You don't have to risk... You know, getting hull damage just to find one thing. Uh, yeah, give them 15. I don't need them. Wow, this will help our efforts considerably. They offer to have their engineers fix up your ship and upgrade your reactor. That's awful nice of you. I didn't really need it, but that's awful nice of you. I think that works about well. 48% evade chance. One out of every two things will miss us, so... I'm feeling pretty good about our chances, honestly. Unless something, unless my whole world crumbles around me like last time, I think I might actually win this. You picked a very annoying room to invade. I mean that. You picked a horrific room to invade. Okay, we're going to send you over here. Close that door. Turn off the oxygen. And then... Turn on the oxygen, cloak, and you have some time to sit there and think about what you did. Might as well have them die a little bit quicker, and then get back to your post, and then they'll die of asphyxiation. That's what I call micromanaging. And now this is going to hurt you a heck of a lot more than it's going to hurt me. Oh, I'm sorry, did you need that oxygen to survive? Half my crew members don't. Well, almost half of them don't. 
Come on, 50% evade. Damn it. Well, Charlie can fix that. Okay, so let's just have this little volley go again. You are really annoying with your missiles, you know that. Not good enough for all the trouble you gave me. You actually hurt me. And again. I should have dodged that. I crap. That was just incompetence at its worst, folks. That's all that was. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Not again. Turn to your stations. And goodbye. Okay, well, like I said, I could upgrade the backup battery and then that would leave me with 50, 77. Not enough for that, but it would, I like having backup battery maxed. I should be able to, well, I guess I can't, I can say I should be able to have enough so I can micro a bunch of dodge chance during the final fight, but I'm going to have to fight a few times here anyway, so I, I probably should. Two hull points repaired and ten fuel. I have way too much fuel. I really don't want to go to a store. I don't have any need of going to a store right now. I think we're just going to try and get to the base as soon as possible because that's where we need to go. Rather not risk losing hull damage before the... What did I just tell you? What did I just say, game? You chose a bad place to invade. Get in your post, son. I have a bad habit of him not being at his post. I realize that. And hack just to make their day that much worse. You seriously going to do this? Okay. I was going to say, you're going to panic long before I, you break that thing. I would bet money. I probably should go the other way. There we go. Oh, you guys are hardcore. I was going to say, you guys are hardcore. You're really not going to give up on that. I don't need to dodge that. I'm sorry. Old habits die hard, folks. I'm not used to using hotkeys at all. <laughs> Not enough. You can try and get away. I just don't think that's going to be rather. I don't think that's going to be very successful. Let's get our oxygen back real quick. I think with an, with full oxygen, if you have a breach in the room and all the doors are closed, they will actually negate the breach. I think. So that's an, one of the reasons I like having that. I like having backup battery because. If stuff goes down, I can use that to put in, obviously, O2, or hacking, or what have you. So, I shall be putting this into engines. Oh, do I want to put in engines, or do I want to put it in... Probably best to put it in engines. Uh, one more in clone bay wouldn't hurt either, for microing purposes. Okay. Let's keep moving. I don't know about found me. I pretty much announced my presence, but okay. Again, you guys picked the worst places to invade ever. Okay, door. You know what? No, I'm not doing it. You can try and take our cloaking out, but, you know, one, two levels of cloaking still good enough. You guys realize you're screwed, right? Just thought I'd bring that up. Mm. 
this would be where autopiloting comes quite handy. Actually, I'll just have you come in here then, and then you. I said you go in there. We're trying to starve them out of oxygen quicker. Close that door. Back up battery. Get some more oxygen flowing. Well, I don't really... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter now. I pretty much screwed that up, but... Now you go back... Actually, turn that off. Everybody back to your post, for God's sake. Close all doors and get the oxygen going. Get in there. And you help him repair that. There we go. Not good enough. You'd have to offer me like a glaive beam for me to spare you now. Just saying. I don't think that's very likely. I mean, I don't see the point in upgrading Clone Bay any further. I mean, I guess maybe doors would be a good investment and second level sensors would be nice. I mean, having fourth level of doors would be great because I don't want those droids to have free reign throughout the entire ship. Maybe that's just me, though. Here we go, folks. The flagship. And what are you hacking? You're hacking my hacking. You got hacking in my hacking. Okay, well... That should be fine, but... Yeah, that should be fine. I don't think I'm gonna need that. I do need to only have one level of cloaking, though. I don't need to only have one, but I prefer to only have one. 51% evade chance, I like our chances. <laughs> that, I still don't, however, like our chances of dodging. I like to have a sure thing on the missiles. I could hack their hacking and just have, like, a hack off, but that just seems borderline stupid, so I'm not going to do that. I do need to put another power in... Where would I want to take it from, though? I don't need to use it quite yet. Yeah, I was waiting for them to cloak, really. Get in your stations. Folks, today, so get back there. Yeah, go through the oxygen department. I guess that is the only way you could go, isn't it? Uh, well, we're gonna have to dodge this crap. Well, we dodged two out of three. That ain't bad. And now... Now... Does this do double damage per room? No. Okay, so... I need to... Hit as many rooms as I... Can with this. Just going for a pure DPS rushdown win. That's what I'm doing. I'm not taking out the that guy. I should, but I'm not. This might come back to bite me in the ass later in the fight. I don't know. I'm glad that didn't hit me. Otherwise, I'd been in a world of hurt. Yeah, I was waiting for that. I'm not going to try and fire a volley. Now I'll cloak. It's best to usually wait if you're not sure if they're going to cloak soon, because if not, you can get into a vicious cycle if you fire whenever you can of them cloaking as soon as you fire. If you do it exactly wrong. There, there we go. Might as well also damage their other crap while we're at it. And now they are in a mad scramble. Oh, I was going to say, what happened to my hacking thing? But I guess they hacked it and destroyed it. I guess that makes sense. This is going very well. The first phase isn't really all that difficult. And you know what? Just to do it, I'm going to screw with you. <laughs> Just to do it, really. That was stupid on my end. Very stupid. Alright then. 
We got we're on a good now we're as far as I've ever as we've ever been. I uh, don't think I've beaten this on camera yet. So might as well get an extra level of clone bay. So you see. I just realized we have a fire. That's not good. I was really just trying to get the, the, the oxygen out of that room more than anything. I didn't really want them to have to try and fight the fire and lose health, but I guess they'd probably gain more from the third level clone bay on the jump to the flagship than anything. I love the music here, for the record. Get back to your posts, and we shall get going to the stage two. Oh, sorry, I had to readjust sitting there. Let's see, we're going to the base. So, let's do this. Oh, this is gonna be messy. One way or another, this is going to be very messy. I don't think they have hacking anymore, so I could afford to put that there, hack their shields, and this, this is where this is where it all gets interesting. Let's just put it that way. This is where it gets interesting. I'm not sure if that's a good interesting or a bad industry interesting, but that's what it is. Oh, right, they have a combat or defense turn. That's why they shot down my thing. I was like, why is my hacking thing not there? Oh, this is getting really bad. I don't want that off. Let's go for a straight up. Swamps is gonna die. What's Tack? Tack is our doorman, so... Get rid of that fire now. You stay in there and fix that. You don't need oxygen, you wuss. Now we might want to cloak. Give us a little breathing room here. Now the reason I like level 1 cloak in this is because the cooldown, I don't know if it's lower, but it seems like it's lower. Oh, this is going to be very bad if I don't get those shields up now. Come on, Charlie. Thank you. Son of a bitch. Okay, no. We should be fine. I'm doing this a very inefficient way, going for a straight up DPS run, but... Hell, it might work. Crap. That breach actually might help us in there. Hmm, doesn't really matter anyway. Hacking, I can't really get anything done because there's... the thing anyway, so I might just let that fire rage. Swamps is going to die. He needs that clone bay up. I'm not stupid. I just sometimes don't always see things. I did see there, though. I think I might have cloaked a little too early there. Yes, I know. You're going to die. Get back in there. That's why we got a clone bay, you wuss. Get in there. Man alive, you're just making this difficult, aren't you? All one health left, you bastards! Mullet is our engine man. That means you go back in there. I don't... Crap. NG, you go fix the oxygen. We need that oxygen at full capacity. Last thing I want is to have no oxygen whatsoever. Yes, I know that was pointless to send that, but I didn't want to lose its charge. Yes, I know we're in the middle of a power surge. I was waiting for the missiles, hopefully, to go. And thankfully, they did. And it is over, folks. Well, not over, over, but it's good enough, over. Now we can actually go and repair things, you know, do things that are good. 
make sure we have enough oxygen for everybody to get what they need done here. Oh, that's what he's doing. He's like, what is he doing? It's not even broken. I didn't know there was a hole breach there. But you see how useful doors are. That fire didn't spread, and the drones, obviously, I guess, oh, for God's sake, that's my stupidity there. Yeah, just leave when the job's only half done. That'll work. We're gonna need all the edges we can get, folks, for this final phase. The final phase is arguably easier than the second phase. I usually find it more difficult, though, so that's just me. I don't really need another thing of that. Hopefully I can get a, a dry, dry, I keep wanting to say droid, drone here, part. They're going over there. Is there anything I can do with the 30 scrap? Not really. Alright. Let's do this. The final showdown. You're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it sustained. It looks like it's transferred power to the teleporter as well as some kind of super weapon. Be prepared. This is it. Oh, son of a bitch. I knew I forgot something. Mind control. I hate mind control. Get in the shields. Okay, we gotta find out. We gotta come up with some way for him not to go on a destroying spree. I hate to do this, but you gotta go in there. I know you're about to die. I'm not gonna let you die. I can't use that with the super shield, right? Not that. Get him back in the fu- oh, crap. You guys know you're suffocating, right? I mean, that's kind of important. get back in there now. We don't need the third layer of cloaking. That's why I have this the way it is. For God's sake, this is just... You sons of bitches, you keep sending more people in here. Okay, where's our other Lanius at, pray tell? Swamps is mind-controlled. Mullet is in there with him. Great. Swamps, you've got to go over there. Get... Our doors are out. That's not good. Goddamn mind control. Okay, I think the smart thing to do here is just abandon that whole train of thought. Get out of there. Open those doors while we can, because we gotta vent this before that door goes down. Don't need three in clone bay. What am I doing? Son of a bitch, this is difficult. Need to get that super shield down. That's not gonna do the job, though. Get in there, help them fix those weapons. We need those weapons. And yes, I know, the guy's probably going to die. Seriously, we need those weapons back, man. Very badly. Doors closed. You gotta go repair those doors, man. Yes, I know you're about to die. You gotta fix that, too. You, fix that. Okay, no, don't fix that. Just go do what you want. It's not like I really needed you to do it or anything. Okay, don't destroy our clone bay, you, you jackass. God damn it. Okay, we need the we need our our evade chance back. There is no debating this. It would be really nice to have our doors back. We don't really need our hacking yet. It would be nice to have, but as long as he doesn't completely trash the clone bay, we should be fine here. Should be being the operative words. Oh yeah, he didn't fix that yet. You know, you're really ch you're testing my patience here, flagship. You're testing my patience, and I never powered up the pike beam. 
It wouldn't have mattered because the thing is gone. Half our crew is mind controlled, seemingly. I know that is not the actual case. I'm just saying it, see, it sure as shit seems like it. I can't dodge all this crap. And I think this is going down the tubes pretty fast because our clone bay is going to be dead, going to be gone here soon. And I can't really fix it at all. This might get real ugly real quick. We're going to lose our NG. Yes, I know. Crew members are dying. Our NG's done. There's no salvaging of the NG. This guy's about to die. Get him out of there. This is just nasty is all this is. Get in the pilot to try and help him. How is my ship still even alive at this point? I mean, I can give one last hurrah here, but I don't think this is gonna do anything, really. Because we're done. I think this is it right here. Yep. Yep. I think my fatal flaw was I didn't have mind control. Every time I've won, I've had mind control. That was a heart-wrenching loss, though. But if I hadn't... Oh, well. Let's see. That's our new one. That's for the Lanius. Top scores was my... was Well, you can see here. It sure wasn't this one, I'll tell you that. Oh, one day I'll win on camera. I usually don't win, but once every four or five times anyway, so this was a fun one. I know I made mistakes. But I'm trying, I was basically trying to learn how to use hotkeys this entire time, so that's the excuse I'm going to go with. But thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to help support the channel, you may want to like or even subscribe. So hopefully I shall see you guys next time. Farewell, everyone.